My last video on the Gemini 3.0 model being leaked got a ton of people finally testing out the model, and the results y'all showed me were truly insane. But I got some major new updates on the release of this new Gemini 3.0 model, which could be coming as early as October 9th, which is tomorrow. The Google DeepMind team has also been dropping hints about a release that will be coming tomorrow. Prediction markets are also pointing for the same release date, and internal teams like Jules have even leaked meetings as well as calls around the October 9th, 10 a.m. PT time. Now, we have even seen live streams that have been set from Google Cloud, which will be going live exactly at 10 a.m. PT. Now, what makes this so exciting is the pre-testing we've seen from the Gemini 3.0 Pro model. It's rumored to be a state-of-the-art and many are even calling it the best AI model ever released based on its performance across nearly every benchmark test. On the ARC AGI 2 leaderboard, it lists the Gemini 3.0 thinking model all the way at the top, scoring an impressive result that surpasses every single model. And based on the generations I had showcased in my last video, as well as with my personal test, it is truly the best model ever. It can handle 100 hour tasks, it can achieve parity with human experts on GDP Evil. And from my current test, this thing is super fast and insanely on point. But today, we're going to be actually taking a deeper dive and trying to showcase more examples to showcase this early preview of the Gemini 3.0. But just take a look at the quality of output. This is a web landing page for a random site that was created in a single shot. This is the type of quality you're going to be able to expect from this new Gemini 3.0 model, which looks like it is proficient in coding and it delivers state-of-the-art reasoning. And I know you may be wondering, how are people actually getting generations with the Gemini 3.0? Well, the thing is, the Google team has been introducing a new A-B testing for this model, where it's a feature that they rolled out within Google AI Studio where you need to just simply select the Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then you can send in any prompt that you want the Gemini 3.0 to output, and then you can just run this. But make sure you copy it because you have a chance that it might not generate with the 3.0, and it will just fall back and use the Gemini 2.5 Pro. But to get the generation from the 3.0, you will see two different model cards. You can see there's only one here. So this is actually the 2.5 generating it. But you're going to need to constantly refresh and send in the same prompt over and over again it could take approximately 50 times to actually get the result that you're looking for but you'll see two different model cards pop up and that's exactly when you'll get the generation from the gemini 3.0 and you can see right here i'm constantly refreshing to get the correct generation before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free you'll notice that you'll get responses from either the gemini 3.0 pro or the gemini 3.0 flash model the gemini 3.0 network code shows up as the 2ht variant and you'll definitely see the difference in the quality of output this is likely the 3.0 pro but just take a look at a couple of front ends that was developed by this variant it's capable of generating beautiful front ends and it's seriously impressive and greatly elevates code quality especially for front end components compared to something you'd get from sonic to 4.5 or the predecessor 2.5 pro but now the other variant you might see is the 5QA, which is likely the Gemini 3.0 flash. And while the generations are still quite good, they're slightly behind the output of the 3.0 Pro. So in this demo, we're taking a look at the Gemini 3.0 Pro's deep think output, specifically on how it performs on creative visual reasoning and code generation for 3D structures. The prompt used here was to create a pelican on a bike with voxel art. And it's designed to test the model's ability to understand multi-model concepts and test its generation on voxel-based 3D code or structured output. And you can see that it was able to accurately generate it and voxel art did a great job with spatial reasoning. The code generation was quite accurate, especially the voxel style or pixel grid based designs. The concept composition looks perfect. And you can see there's also an aesthetic balance in terms of what it did with the bridge as well as the water. This overall shows 
how impressive this model is in terms of its coding ability with creative interpretation and something only top tier models are capable of pulling off. This is a demo of the Exoplanet core visualization and this was fully generated in a single shot with the Gemini 3.0 Pro. And you can see its ability to generate complex scientific visualizations from a text prompt. It showcases the model's strength in spatial reasoning and scientific accuracy. You can see that it's able to turn abstract planetary data into realistic 3D style visuals. And this is something that we've never seen with other models. This is truly the best Minecraft clone that I have seen that is functional and with actual capabilities. You can move around, you can even fly in creative, you can place down different blocks and you can even break it. And remember, this was only generated with Gemini AI Studio. Imagine it combined with a coding agent, its capabilities are definitely going to be enhanced further. FYI, this is the dev who has put me on this new AB testing and he is someone that I highly recommend that you follow as he is posting AI breakthroughs on a daily basis. Essentially, he had generated an Xbox controller in SVG code, which is super accurate to an Xbox controller, but you can see how well it is in terms of outputting SVG code in all fronts from designing, symmetry, as well as quality. Here is the Gemini 2.5 Pro, the 2HT checkpoint, which was able to complete the solution to use Samara the 554th problem in just three minutes. The same problem that was cited in the Oxford and Cambridge paper, claiming that no large language model could actually solve. And even GPT-5 Pro reportedly took around 14 minutes to produce a full proof. So this demo is showcasing that it was able to have the Gemini 3.0 handle advanced theorem solving and step-by-step -step proofs that were previously considered unsolvable by any language model. It was able to showcase how well the model is with deep mathematical reasoning and symbolic logic. This one definitely boggles my mind. The dev that I was talking about had asked Gemini 3.0 Pro to create something around the Kardashev scale level 3 civilization. Basically, it's a hypothetical society that can harness the entire energy output of its galaxy. It's pretty cool. But the kind of prompt this is, is going to test a model's ability for creative scientific reasoning, as well as seeing how well it is in terms of blending astrophysics, speculative design, as well as visual imagination to build a consistent and futuristic concept. The generation here shown is showcasing how Gemini can go beyond simple descriptions, and it actually visualizes advanced cosmic engineering, Dyson spheres, as well as interstellar scale systems with realistic physics behind them. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. There's a lot more to this, so I definitely recommend you subscribe to this dev's Twitter page. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at whatever we're posting on the second channel because we're also going to be posting a couple of insights on this tomorrow. Hopefully it releases tomorrow in the morning, but definitely stay tuned on that because I'm definitely going to be posting another video talking more about the technical aspects and having it combined with a coding agent. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can potentially even try it within Google AI Studio. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Make sure you go ahead and check, take a look at the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.